Hey gang, Scott here. Got a quick tip for you about removing color fringes from your photos and not necessarily the ones that happen with chromatic aberration like we do with lens corrections where you have the purple and green fringe. Uh, the example I'm going to show you, it happens to be green fringe, but I want to show you a more general way to get a, uh, like a, a halo removed from your photo and the key to doing it is a color range mask intersected with a brush. Let me show you how this works. So in this photo, a close-up of these uh, little uh, you know, by-the-wind voyagers, um, I think the scientific name is Valella Valella. I've uh, been washing up all over the beaches in California uh, the last couple of years. But um, I, I, like, I like the image. I'm nearly done with it. But I have this like, extra green like fringe around here. If we zoom in and take a look at this, you can see like there's a pretty strong you know, green fringe. And okay, that's kind of happening, you know, the, the, this, this was being backlit by the sun, and you know, this can happen, but I just don't want that for the photo. And so let me open up my masking area here, and I'm just going to turn on this halo remove, which I've already done. So before, and you know, we're watching, we're watching the fringe right here. After, let's do that again without the, uh, the refresh on the preview Lightroom before after. You can see it's just tempered down. So so how did this get to put together here? Just like I said at the top, this is a combination of a color range intersected with a brush. And so let me um, let me show you quickly how I built this. I'll do the color range and I'll pick something right there on the green fringe. Okay. Now there's a lot of green in the photo. You know, there's there's a lot of green there. So first I'll dial that range down. So I'm getting pretty darn close to just this fringe there. And I probably need to increase it a little bit more to pick up the area here. And that goes all the way around. Great. We're most of the way there. Now I could just grab a brush, subtract, and start removing it from everywhere. But intersect will let you just kind of paint over the edge and pick up only the things you really need. So the next step is to intersect that color range with a brush. Okay, got my brush here. Let's make that a little bit smaller. And then as I paint over just the fringe, the edge, oh, my auto mask is on. Let's turn auto mask off so we're, we, can, we, we can be lazy with the brush stroke because we'll be protected by the color range mask. And I'll just do this side here. You get the idea. And then if you need to, you can do a subtract with a brush. I'll keep the auto mask on for that just to, to take any, any straggling pieces outside and leverage edge detection around the fringe. Once you have all that done, it's a pretty simple thing. Saturation slider, I'll pull it all the way left and you'll see that, that fringe decrease. If you need to, after you've decreased saturation, like I'm not seeing that much of an effect here, I can go back to the color range and I can increase it. I push it all the way, I push it back. You're going to see that fringe moving around here. And so it's playing around with the color range adjusting its range itself, refining the range, and intersecting with a brush just so you get that little edge going on there. And when you're all done, I'll turn this one off and I did all my fiddling here. We get that nice reduction of that color fringe before and after. So that's the tip. Uh, you know, you got color fringes. If you've got it across your entire photo and it's green or purple, go ahead and use your lens corrections to deal with that. But any other kinds of fringes or haloing, take a look at this kind of technique. Uh, this also works with luminosity masks as well. If you're working with a black and white photo, got a different video on that. I'll leave a link below in the show notes for you. Any other questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.